so let's try a chameleon today. If you look at them, they look complicated, but if you follow me step by step, they're really quite simple. This one's colored in from yellow to light green to dark green, and if you blend, they look quite good. And here's a rainbow dude. So let's get them out the way and show you how to do them. So to make bookmarks, if you collect biscuit boxes and cereal boxes and cut out the cardboard, and then at least you're recycling, doing the environment a favor too. So how we start this is a nice round eyeball with the pupil in the top left. And then at the middle left, you're going to take a line curved like that. Give them a nice big smile. And then a little way down that line, do another curved shape. Three toes, a little line to the right. And then we're going to do his back leg. So you do an arrow shape. Add three toes onto the bottom of that and then follow the shape of the leg. Another little line. And then in, on the right hand side, a bit up from the middle, you're going to do one, two, three spikes. And at the end of that spike, go up and around. Let it touch that line you've ended with and spiral it round as far as it goes. Add in the other eyeball a nostril and then these lines that represent scales and you can add a branch that he's sitting on or whatever you want and then you're going to cut it out and don't cut on the black line I'm leaving a bit of space around the comedian It doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly follow the shape, leaving roughly the same amount of space around the outline. But as you can see, it's not perfect and it still looks good when you're done. And then what you can do with these, when you've cut them out, you can either color them in and give them away as gifts, like I have with these, or you can take them like this and put them in a packet and package them to sell. So this one I've done a reptile pack, there's a snake and a comedian and a crocodile and this is very simple to do. You take a piece of cardboard, you fold it in half, you write recycled bookmarks to colour and you put it over your packet and staple on either end. And then you can sell that product at your school flea markets or fates or to your friends or you can give them away as presents. So if you want to take that comedian we've just done on a bookmark and do a card with it, we do the same drawing, same way that we did the bookmark, but do this one in pencil because if you draw an ink first, it's going to bleed when you put paint on it. Okay, and then because it's a card, we'll make it slightly different to the bookmark. We don't want him floating in the air. So you can just add in a branch that he's sitting on. So do it going behind and then turn into a tree right on the edge. Like that. And then you can add in a couple of leaves here and there. So just leaf shapes, very, very basic. Don't get too fancy, because they'll be covered by the ink anyway. Okay, and to paint it, I've mixed some coffee and water for the brown, and green food colouring and water, and yellow food colouring and water. So let's start with the brown. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and paint the whole thing, so that you can see how it's done. But what you really need to do is paint one colour at a time, and let it dry in between, otherwise it's going to bleed. I'll just do it very carefully so the colours don't touch and run into each other. At least I'll try to. So there's the tree and the branch done in coffee. And then start off with your light colour. So I'm going to turn this around so we can do a yellow stomach. And you've got to work quite quickly if you want it to look like it has a bit of a tie-dye effect. So we'll put lots of yellow there, 
then a bit of water blobbed on and then dip into the green and let it run along that water and it will end up bleeding into the yellow and look like it's harder and then the rest you can just do flat green So don't try and make it smooth, it's supposed to be blobby and, and dry with that effect. You turn it around and we'll just do the leaves. And if it goes out the lines, it's part of the effect, it's still cool. Okay, so when it's dry, you take a black fine liner and just go over all the pencil outlines. And obviously you don't just have to do the chameleon on a card. Any of our YouTube videos where we've shown you how to draw something, you can use this method to do a card with any of our images. And I've got the shakes. And then don't forget, all artists need to put their signature on the bottom of their work. So in the bottom right hand corner somewhere, Fit your signature in really small. And there we go. If you want to add in movement lines to make it look like the picture's alive, you can do that. There we go, all done.